Hello everybody. So on this 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Ordinary Time meaning we continue that path of all the normal graces that the Lord has given us, all that continual graces, so that we can continue to live our Christian life, right? And this is one, he touches upon something that is very basic and very essential to our hearts, the, the need to belong. Right? And so all our readings speak one way or another about the Gentiles. Gentiles, those who were excluded, those that weren't the people of God, but in one way or another being drawn in up to that holy mountain. In particular, this um, shocking treatment the Lord gives this woman in the gospel, this woman that comes and begs, asks for the sake of her daughter, and the Lord seems to just ignore her. But there's something very keen, uh, very key to understanding that, and it's the Lord's longing for our faith. She comes up, my daughter is tormented by a demon. Jesus didn't say a word to her. His disciples even said, send her away. She's making such a ratchet. She keeps calling up after us. And then he even says some things that seem pretty hurtful, pretty uh, isolating. You know, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then he even says, it's not right to take the food of children and throw it to the dogs. And she very humbly said, but even the dogs can eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. And finally, the Lord turns to her and says, O oh woman, great is your faith. Maybe that whole interchange, even kind of the roughness around the edges of that conversation, were just meant to purify that faith that the woman had. She insisted and she said, I know that you can do something for my daughter. And she's willing to put up with it all to get to Christ himself. O oh woman, how great is your faith. I can imagine the Lord turning around, just kind of, maybe moved, possibly to, to a warmth, to tears, looking at the faith that this woman has. And of course, knowing in his heart that the whole time he's been drawing her closer. As we live through these challenging times, I think one of the worst pains that we can have is that of feeling not wanted, rejected, divided. And of course, we know that division comes from the enemy. The Lord, through the challenges, even through the difficulty of everything that is happening, is longing for our faith, persevere. Persevere in the faith, trust that the Lord can and will heal. Now, if it seems like it's taking too long, if it seems like no one's listening, know that He is. He's just purifying your intention. He's purifying how much your heart is longing for Him to attend to you. And of course, in the Lord, we know that we are all united. That is the one place where we find comfort. That's the one place where we can see that the Lord is drawing us deeper in. And so the Lord, even when it sounds like he is far away or not listening or the church is not listening to each one of our claims, know that through that struggle, through that journey, the Lord is elevating your faith. And if you persist in it, then you will see what your heart more, most longs for which is to belong in Him, to belong to the depths of that merciful heart, which is longing also to bring you throughout all the challenges, throughout all the trials, deeper into the love that He wants to give you. So that's the Sunday game plan. God bless you all.